Because honestly, say I was about to have sex and then I pulled crap, up. but it's nice. <laughs> My name is Jimmy. I'm staying in Pearson. I'm born in Pearson. I work for food growers. My name is Ambrose van Gent. Um, I'm born and raised in Pearson. Um, I just finished recently my um, pharmacist um, assistant qualification. I'm Tony Sopisani. I'm a community member, a very frustrated one. Hi, everyone. My name is Chantel. I'm staying here at Pearson. I'm Vanessa Mitchell. I stay in Pearson, moved to Pearson in 2011. And since 2011, I stay in Pearson, but I'm very depressed about the electricity and water of Pearson. This is Yvonne Jordan, mostly known as Babes. I'm a frustrated community member with the water and electricity crisis. There is a forum that is called Blue Crane Community Forum, BCCF, that we had meetings and then we organized a petition. We went door to door to give people to sign the petition. We also had an online petition, and then we called out a, a community meeting. We discussed with the community, and we tell them everything about well, what is the plan and what we are planning, everything. Then we told them that on the 2nd of February, we are planning a march. We would like everyone to be part of that march, handing over the petition to the speaker of Iplu Crane. And it was a successful march. We applied for the march, it was legally, and it was successful. Everyone was there. Every, everyone from Pearson community, oh. farmers, Nelsa, everyone was present, was, but it was part of that uh, match. We have two load sheddings in Pearson. It's ESCOM load shedding, and then we have Pearson load shedding. The um, reason why I'm saying Pearson load shedding, it is the service delivery from the municipality that the wiring of the electricity, it's so bad, it has been not not being repa repaired or um, what is it maintained for so many years, it's been more than 15 years. So now, when it's pierced and load shedding, you can imagine you're sitting in your house, unemployment rate is almost 90% in Pearson. Sure. Now you're sitting without electricity. You have to go back to go and, go and make, pick up some wood. You have to prepare now the old style um, when it was those in the old years, you have to prepare food. You don't have food, you don't have nothing, you can't prepare food. So now your school children, there's no time for ironing clothes. Um, the school children have to go hungry to school. Imagine waking up in the morning. When you go to the tap, I go to the and say there's no water. You can't bath, you can't do nothing. And you're living with the elder people like, they have to eat medication in the morning. You don't have nothing, no water. Imagine that, it's a human violation, they can't do that to us. It's, I get very emotional when I'm speaking about this water crisis. Problem is we don't have electricity. The electricity that just drips at any time. Just when the dam start to fill, then electricity goes off. Now the, 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 the pumps can't uh, put enough pressure in for the dams to fill. Now we can't get water. There's a problem we are sitting with in Pearson. Hey, hey, Mark for arms, hard here in the van. Kijk so, last year I had geplant so by the tuin. I had niks ge, ik ik had niks gekry nie. It is dry. So kijk so, ons moet zoom soos vandag ons moet zoom. Jy sien kracht nie, ons kan nie werk. En so ons kan nie, ons moet kom communikeer met onze uh, bosse nie. En die kijk so, soos gestrand. Die kinders het sonder, kijk, mijn brood koop, want in die winkels, die kan paloni gaan koop, die paloni is ook hier recht nie, ja. van as die kracht nie. Mm. Kijk, 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 my vriesje is dood, my die vriesje is nou dood, van die upside down, want jy weet nie, wanneer gaan die kracht nie. Die, die wind maak, maak die vat die kracht weg, die, 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 die reen vat die, 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 die kracht weg. Ons weet nie eindelijk wat men ons nou doen nie. I, I would say we all are suffering because mm. when we have that much, all the farmers were Going here. Out, yeah. They came out in, in full capacity. Mm -hmm. So I would say Love we all have the same problem and we all are frustrated at the same thing. We as all fight look, the same thing. As Mr. Jerry was saying, we can't even water our garden. We can't even plant food because as Sinamans, we don't have water. So we, even them that are farmers, they are struggling with water because they 
because of Amanzi and this electricity problem. We are sitting with a huge problem because there's no way that a human being can sit without water for seven days. Ah, uh -uh, there is no way. It's so heartbreaking. If you could see all pay days, our old people, ne? like by month end, there's nothing because our people live mainly on social grants. Mm. By month end, that last week, maybe you only have a little bit of flour or maize meal in your cupboard. And now this old person is going the next morning to go and fetch his old age grant. But when coming to the post office, there's no electricity. electricity. Remember that person, maybe he woke up, he never ate that morning. Maybe last night he also didn't eat because of the same electricity problem, because yes. our old people go to bed early. Yeah. By six o'clock, they are in bed already. And Their time, it's low shedding. And, and they will sit the whole day, <coughs> not getting their money, and the grandchildren are waiting at home. Yeah. To, grandmother is, is gonna come with something to eat. Grandmother is coming back with nothing, because we don't have electricity. The whole day, they will sit there until five o'clock. They come back with nothing. And even, and even in December, we had a huge loss the community of Pearson, because a week before Christmas, electricity went off, the Thursday or the Wednesday it came back, the Saturday. The same week of this of Christmas, the electricity went off the Wednesday and came back the day before Christmas. So we had a huge, huge loss. And the unemployment rate is very high in Pearson. It's no work, no nothing. It's our businesses, because the funeral parlor owner was saying that he has to tell the family to bury Landuka soon because is Dumbuzi Abola there at the funeral parlor. So it's even affecting a business. Big businesses, yes, affect her. It's, 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 it's a crisis, man, it's big. And it's a real worrying factor because now, instead of people coming to invest in Pearson, people are gonna go out yeah. of Pearson because if there's no electricity, then why should you open a business here? Why risk it? Ne? It's, a, it's a really, a, it's a sad, sad, sad situation that we're in. And I think um, it's time that people should Hear our story as Pearson. It's time that we voice out our anger because ah, it's, this is a, a crime to humanity. Mm. The local <coughs> government must be responsible for that. Because uh, as we look at the water crisis, we're thankful for gift of the givers, but we can't rely on people to come from far with a solution while we have a leadership here they don't inform us about Nothing. anything. They don't mm. communicate with the community. Mm -hmm. And, yes. and it's, it's, very, it's very heartbreaking. And it's sad, especially really for our old age people. Umna, mm. I feel like as a close of Pisani that our municipality, Brooklyn municipality, is neglecting us. Yeah. Because there is a farmer association. We're still waiting for the answer because we had, and we had a petition last week, last week Wednesday. The farmers association offer themselves that they will assist mm. with their own equipment and everything and, the, and assist you and help from the community members. Help to fix the lines so that to stabilize. to stabilize the electricity, at least for three years. If the electricity is fine, then we won't have any water crisis. So we're only waiting for the municipality to agree on that. They are neglecting us, uh, uh, it's too much. They are supposed to fix this long time ago. I would say that I don't have hope in whatever um, 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 the president was saying on, on the sauna this, um, when was it? Um, because one mere, fa mere fact that we couldn't watch the president because it was low chatting, so we don't know. And, and yes, because that's something that I was, I, I was telling myself, man, this, this, this is crazy. How can there be a... Low shedding. And you know it's low shedding, but you're going to speak, have a nation speech, you're going to address the nation without low shedding. So, um, it's a thing. They don't have low shedding, so they yeah. don't know about low shedding. Yeah. We are the ones who are feeling the low shedding. They have those big generators and whatever. We don't have those. We don't have money just to buy one small Anyana solar panel just to keep our lights on. But now he expects us to listen to the sun and there's low shading. We've been crying out to the municipality. I know for sure it's been almost 10 years now that we are sitting with this electrical problem. But it didn't start for 10 years. It has been there. It is just because why the people is acknowledge us now uh, because of this problem is because our community 
was very silent about this issue. Mm. And then we as a community, the youth, have decided, no, we had enough. Let the people hear our cry. We are hoping that the Blue Creek municipality heeded our call, our cries, actually. And then they would respond in the way that we, as a community of Pearson, expect them to uh, respond. respond. Because if they don't, then I'm afraid that maybe things won't go as peaceful as they were. I'm not saying or making any threats, but the way that people are tired, the, the, they are so frustrated that they are capable of doing anything. Mm. There is a company which, call, which is called Earth and Wire. They are willing and able to come and put hydraulic systems to generate power. Um, they want to uh, put in solar panels to generate power. They want to come and put wind, um, 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 windmills to generate power. They want to work hand in hand with the municipality. They don't want to take over the municipality but they want to provide electricity for the Blue Crane Root um, municipality. I should plea with the Blue Crane municipality to hear the calls of the people of Pearson. And come back with a positive answer next week. Because now the people of Pearson want to take charge of their own town. They want to fix Pearson. And if they turn that helping hand away, then I don't know. If you look at George municipality, no load sharing, the same idea, that we want to propose to Blue Green that George Municipality have the very same idea and it work 100%. Farmers are on board, the community of Pearson is on board, they are willing to work without dissent because we want our network to be stable. We don't want this up and down, up and down of the electricity. Now it's on, later it's off. Our children must come out of school early. They've just come out of the COVID situation. And it's a lot on them, as Chantel was saying. We just want for Pearson just to be peaceful. My long-term dream is, is to be the Minister of Health within South Africa and upwards. So my main dream is that I don't want to go out of the Pearson. I don't want to go and work out of Pearson. I want Pearson to be a busy town. I want the unemployment rate, you know, the employment rate to raise from zero to 200. To build a house, especially for children that is walking on the streets, mm. to take them in, give them education, clean them, and help them build their own personal dreams. That is my dream, really. My dream is really for the youth for employment, because some of the youth, the, the do have metric, but there's no jobs. That is my dream, really. My dream is for Pearson to be standing as a town on its own, to be independent, when it comes to the economy of Pearson. I want the youth of Pearson to be employed. Mm. I want Pearson to be that vibrant town that is alive. Mm. That's my dream for Pearson. Yeah, Z, you should ever sit and talk with people or else take a walk and create a straight talk. Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger. Listen what is right and say what is wrong. You should ever sit and talk with people or else take a walk and create a straight talk. Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger. Listen what is right and say what is wrong.